get Tris and we're gonna get you some lunch and stuff. Married. Or get married. Get married. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Wasn't it hard enough the first time? Oh boy. <laughs> yep, uh, it's not pronounced Beatrice. Because we're in the Midwest, that's why. So it's Beatrice. Why? Because that's what they do. No, <laughs> you know why. I know, but it's more fun to say it like that. Well, tell people why. So the town is named after a girl. And when she was little, uh, well, her parents named her Beatrice. But she just thought it would be funny to tell everybody that it was pronounced Beatrice. So she made everybody call her Beatrice. And then at some point, uh, her dad decided to name the town after her. Was it her dad? I think it was her dad. I didn't know you remember more. Anyway, somebody named the town after her. So since everybody knew her as Beatrice, the town is still to this day known as Beatrice. Very nice. And we are almost two. The lovely, middle of nowhere. Lovely Belleville, Kansas. You know it's lovely because the name is Belleville, so it has to be beautiful. Bella. And they do have a beautiful uh, pizza place there that we absolutely love, but we will not be stopping on this trip because we're going to eat lunch at Beatrice. Yeah, we're kind of excited about that. They have a hot dog place that will probably be closed by the time we get there. <laughs> right. But the hot dog place has, like, 20 different hot dogs to choose from. You can even get a hot dog with pulled pork on it. Check it's that like out. It's a Cuban dog. Yeah. Yeah. They have all different crazy types of hot dogs. Do you remember what the hot dog place was called? Uh, it, was it was like Jenny's Hot Dogs yeah, or something some like that. Yeah, some lady's name. Jan's, Jenny's. Jan, Jenny, Jane's Hot Dogs. <laughs> Might not have even been a J. I don't know. There's the beautiful Midwestern sky. Hey, Rebecca. How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to Kansas for the next few minutes. And then we will be in Nebraska in probably about 15 minutes or so. In a pink semi-truck. Oh. <laughs> interesting, interesting choice. Yep. Maybe it's a lady driver. A lady. We've met some really interesting uh, truck drivers that are women. We met one lady who was like 70 years old, wasn't she, or something? Uh -huh. She was like 70 years old, and she drives a truck, like all across the country, like solo. And uh, we told her that we thought she was pretty amazing. And there's this guy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever he is. Yeah. But can you imagine being a 70-year-old woman truck driver, going up and down the highways and freeways? We gotta slow down because we are in Belleville. Our speed is 56 miles per hour, but with this guy's luck, we're gonna get a ticket. Belleville is Kansan for we don't have snow plows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we almost got stuck in this very spot when we were driving our pickup truck up to South Dakota. Yeah, Belleville was the one place that, like, there was none of the roads were plowed. It was really scary. We were driving on snow. And they had no chains available on the truck stop. Apparently, we've learned that in the Midwest, chains are actually illegal, which is so funny because in Oregon, it's illegal not yeah, to carry chains. Yeah, where we don't have very much snow yeah, at in, all. In, or in Oregon, yeah, if you're traveling through certain mountain passes and stuff, it's illegal for you to travel without chains. And then we come here and they're like, oh, chains are illegal. You can't have them here. We're like, what? <laughs> There's Los Primos. That's the first one, guys. <laughs> Actually, Primos means cousins. Really? Yeah. Oh. The cousins. So, what's here in Belleville that everybody should try? The pizza place. Belleville. Yeah, pizza place in Belleville is great. Yeah. Oven. Uh, Oven I fired. I want to say it's called North 40. You fired. I think it's called North 40. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it's, it has something to do with directions. That's why I think it's North 40. 
Maybe there'll be a sign out here on the freeway. No, no. You There's the business. National Auto Racing Museum, guys. The National Midget Auto Racing Association. Oh. <laughs> and it's not midgets that race, I don't think. I think it's a type of car Little called cars. the midget car. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Although it would be neat if there was a special <laughs> racing league for midgets. I and, love that. And they were in little tiny cars. We just breezed it right on through Belleville. Yeah. So what's Rebecca up to today? I bet I know. I bet she's... Doing she's some, making something. I bet she's making some, some stuff. I bet she's getting crafty. What can you make? I can make a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Show us some noises that you can make. <laughs> I can go like this. <laughs> and you can do this too. You do that too, right? No. I don't know what you're doing. It's really weird though. <laughs> I don't want any part of it. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me. That's how much he despises Kansas. He just spit on it. What? Yep, no, he did. Nobody, nobody saw anything. <laughs> Here's Nebraska. The license plate. <laughs> oh. We're not there yet. Yeah. We're almost there. You can tell because the word, the roads get worse once you hit Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. Nebraska doesn't take care of the roads very good, but they do a great job of snow plowing. Yeah, they do. Hey, look at that windmill right there. Let me see if I can really zoom good. in on the screen. It only has two blades. No, it doesn't. Does it? It looks it's probably, like it. Probably just pointing down, I would imagine. Rebecca says that she is cleaning her living room. Nice. She's not making anything. Rebecca, get back to making stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think see it's I think it's behind this. Oh, almost. yeah, you're right. Down. Your mom's car still uh, pulls to the left like quite a bit. Yeah, we stole mom's car. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> well, we wanted to keep our car nice and clean because we we're trying to sell it. We gotta sell the car so we can put some plumbing in our house. Yeah. Give and go. The sky is so beautiful today. It's such a nice sunny day. Jeep Road. Are you dated? Yeah. You know why? Because I didn't get nominated for an Oscar for my part in the movie. Oh, well, the nominations just haven't come out yet. Oh. <laughs> yep. And a big congratulations to K State. So, those that don't know about Kansas, the, the, um, the Jayhawks are usually the team that does better in basketball, but not this year. This year, they got eliminated already, but K-State is advancing to the Elite Eight. They've passed the Sweet 16, and they're moving on to the Elite Eight. So Ew. that's pretty impressive. Very nice. Yeah, and they won in a nail-biting finish last night. It was, I don't usually listen to sports on radio, but uh, it just happened upon the station. And it was a super exciting ending of a game. It was 
like going back and forth and then right at the end they they got up and then they scored a bonus basket to just end up with a solid defeat but it all happened in like a matter of seconds it was crazy so we're actually headed up to the northern part of nebraska norfolk to see a movie premiere tomorrow yeah we're gonna finally see the movie that we've been working on for the last year so we're excited about that we uh made like we've made like five or six trips up to Norfolk, Nebraska to do uh, filming and to do a cast reading and different things. And uh, finally we get to see the movie premiere and they're gonna treat us to two special parties because the movie's gonna show in two different towns. So we're gonna watch the movie in uh, Norfolk. We get a party in the other and, and, then, and then we're going to Madison and uh, in Madison, the party is before, before the movie. Um, there's going to be a social hour from 6 to 7, and the movie starts at 7. And uh, there's supposed to be like hors d'oeuvres and fun stuff. Yeah. And then at that movie, there's going to be a... Uh, Look, Narca is that way. <laughs> at the second movie, which is in the town of Madison, uh, when that's done, or maybe, yeah, I think probably after, they're going to do a question and answer time for the cast and crew. So people from the community that come to watch the movie can uh, ask us questions. Like, uh, you know, what they'll probably ask me is like, uh, you know, how are you so awesome? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they probably won't ask me any questions because I'm not one of the major roles in the movie. Um, um, although it doesn't have a whole lot of dialogue, but I was really honored and excited to get to play that role. And Kareen plays the role of my wife. Mrs. Bloomberg. Just like, just like she does in real life. Mrs. Bloomberg. I you wonder what Mrs. Michael Bloomberg, Bloomberg. I wonder what Mrs. Bloomberg's first name is. Well, if your name is Michael, it must be like Layla or whatever her <laughs> name was. <laughs> Actually, there's a secret that Kareem doesn't even know. And that is that her character does have a first name, and I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell. She has to wait for the credits. Oh, cool. In the don't, credits. don't spit on your shirt. Let me show you guys his beautiful shirt that we just got. Do you have a new shirt in the mail? We that's, just ordered yeah, one. That's the channel. No, this is on DIY. Oh, this is DIY? Yeah. Okay. And we actually... It's our merch store, and you can actually order like this or a coffee mug or whatever. Is my name Charlotte? Not gonna tell. Because I thought you asked me like what I, what I wanted to be called, and I think I said Charlotte. I might have spoiled it already. Did I spoil it? You didn't spoil it. Okay. <laughs> and I hope it's Deb, because like everybody we know out here is named Deb. <laughs> Everybody that's a realtor, isn't it? Or is it other people too? Yeah, other people too, because remember there was the Deb from the coffee shop too? There's the Deb that's a realtor, Deb that's from the coffee shop. Um, there was the Deb that was a nurse at the hospital. Oh, yeah. There's, and there's been Debs. lots of other Debs too. That's a good name. Dub step. <laughs> this should be a kind of music. Said a dub step. Dub step. Dub. Dub step. <laughs> well, I might. Um, I was trying to get more of a person that's following on DIY channel, but I might switch. This live over to corn fed because nobody's here. <laughs> we'll try it for a little longer. For you a little gotta, longer, you okay. Be, you gotta be patient. Okay. We're almost to Nebraska. Is everybody excited? In Nebraska? What's in Nebraska, Postmas? What's in Nebraska? Nebraska is corn. No? What is it known as? 
What do they say? It's the okay life. <laughs> no, it's the good life. It's gonna be Kansas, a good life. Kansas it's is gonna the okay be life. a good life. Good, good okay, life. Here, here comes the Here we go. Here we go, people. We're about Number to pass in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Yes, in Nebraska, the good life. We're now living it. We're now living the good Woo, life. <laughs> the life is so good. Can you feel it? Can you feel the difference? <laughs> if you go down there, you can visit Chester. We've never visited Chester. Hmm. Dirty Nebraska. Nebraska traffic does for busted brackets. You don't want to bust what those is, brackets. What is a busted bracket? I, I, I don't know. It must be something from a truck or something. Crazy. I like how it's like, welcome to Nebraska. We have lots of death. <laughs> we have death from an, something that you don't even know what it is. You know where you can get death from? No. From David McNabb. Last Supper pageant. I, I looked up a story in Kansas of a poor lady who was murdered and a couple of hunters found her while they were out in the on the prairie, and apparently her killer had already been put away in the slammer, and his name was David McNabb. So I wanted That's to unusual. see a hitchhiker. But, but it's not a hitchhiker because he's on the wrong side of the road. So oh. I don't think he maybe, wants a maybe ride. Maybe his ride just broke down. He just has like a mile to walk or something. But anyway, I was looking up about her killer, David McNabb, but I had a hard time finding her specific case because there's tons of David McNabb killers out there. They don't kill David McNabb, but they kill other people and their name is McNabb. <laughs> it was nutty. It was like, how could that possibly be? Maybe there is something into what you name your child don't, don't name them david mcnab <laughs> especially if your last name is not mcnab yeah <laughs> that'd be a big no no and <laughs> what's he doing now you make it make any other fun noises <clears throat> yeah i can do that <laughs> oh, that's not as much the fun. Throat clearing noise. What about laser cats? I don't know if I can do that right now. Dude, laser cats. Mm. That was a perfect mm. laser cat. What are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> it even sounds like you have static in your laser. <laughs> Every good laser has some static. <laughs> Maybe. This man's got talent right here. He could be in movies and do funny noises. He's got something. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's got something. Everybody's got something. There's Rody that we just passed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh oh, we got an incoming call. Who dad? Look, there's another hitchhiker. He's talking to himself. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Is that just a junk, junk call? Yeah. It's just a spammer scammer. Spam we get a lot of uh, spam calls and they don't answer. When you pick up, you say hello and that's it. That's the extent of it. It's just silence. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're getting at. The sound of silence. That's what I will never again experience since I married this guy. I will never again experience the sound of silence. <laughs> yeah, because ever since you married him, you won't shut up. You or me? You. <laughs> so you won't get experience because you just have so much to Keep say talking. to him. Yeah. That's so much life experiences to share.
life experiences. I was watching a video. You're supposed to be a reaction guy. <laughs> About not advising people to even rent cars when they go to California because there's so much car theft going on. If they see any bags in your cars, they'll break your window and steal it. And this one particular case I watched, <laughs> there was a couple driving down the road in the middle of traffic and they did it to him in the middle of traffic while they were moving. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Insanity. Call some, somebody call Sean T because that's insanity. <laughs> But a lot of times they still, like a photographer will take a group out to do engagement photos or whatnot. And a lot of times, a lot of instances, they get their stuff stolen at gunpoint. Because they know, the, the thieves know the popular places to do that. And so they just hang out, wait for the photographers to show up, and then they yep. steal their stuff at gunpoint. Yeah, and photog cause photographers can easily be carrying like five grand worth of equipment in a backpack yeah like i usually had when i was a wedding photographer that's probably about how much my gear was worth and i'd have it all in one bag so it's an easy target for a thief you know yeah they could probably quickly turn around and get two or three thousand for it like at a pawn shop So that's nice about hanging out here in the Midwest is that a lot of times we don't have to, we, we don't even lock anything. Well, yeah, we, lock, we lock our house, but we don't lock our cars. Yeah. Yeah. Not very often. Yeah. And then when we first moved to an even smaller town, we moved to like a really dinky town, Smith Center and people would leave their cars running with their purses out front. One time I accidentally left my purse in front of our storefront building, like <laughs> hanging there. And I, I fully expected everything to still be in there, and it was. <laughs> but I left it out there for a couple hours. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody just knocked on our door and well, said, uh, you, you left something out here. Maybe they thought it was a prank. You were, you know, waiting for somebody to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> we had a hidden camera on there. <laughs> I wish we did. But yeah, it was nice hanging out there in Smith Center. You didn't have to worry about anybody stealing anything. Except for your self-respect. Your soul. Yeah. <laughs> so for you of us, or those of you, <laughs> Just joining us, we're going to Beatrice, Nebraska. Like not, not Beatrice, yeah, not Beatrice, Nebraska, because it was named that way because the lady it was named after thought it'd be funny to tell everybody to pronounce her name wrong, and then it stuck. <laughs> But I'm happy to see the beautiful sunny skies on this, is it the third day of spring or the second day of spring? <laughs> it was, uh, what day is today? Is it Friday? Yes. Oh, okay. So the first day of spring I think was on Tuesday. Or as they call it in my country, Freitag. So we're actually on the fourth day of spring. So how are your guys' springs going? You looking forward to the warmer weather? We really are. We got sick and tired of the cold sick and this tired. winter. This winter was especially long. This is where we turn. Apparently everybody comes from down this road. I never noticed this road was so busy. We've driven by it. We should go to the oh, left. There's the Oregon Deschler. Trail country. Deschler. We've never been there. No. We should go there on the way back. They, they really promote it, so maybe it's a neat little town. Maybe. Except that we'll be coming back at probably midnight, so maybe yeah. we won't, won't see Deschler this time. <laughs> okay. Beatrice. 
48 miles across the sea. What's there? Santa Beatrice. <laughs> He's waiting for me. Uh, you can switch it over to the other one if you want. It's, it's, it's oh, uh, but a bunch of more people oh. popped on, so. Oh, there is. Oh, nobody say anything though. No, they don't want to talk to us. Say, say hello, everybody. We like to chat with people. Come on, everybody. Everybody, everybody just stop. say hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Oh, Rebecca says that I think the scam calls are trying to find out if that number belongs to somebody. Yeah, that could be. Well, they should have it down already. Yes, that number belongs to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and we know how to say hello. That's cute. I think it's 70 here, right? I should have brought our uh, the GPS for yeah. speed purposes. Look out for that red rag. <laughs> I remember one time I was in Roseburg, it just reminded me, I don't know why, um, I was exiting off of the freeway uh -huh. and I saw a flashlight and apparently it fell out of someone's car or truck or something and it was like all intact and I was like, oh cool. So I pull off the road and I'm running back to get it and I'm, there's, I see a car exiting and he sees me and I'm looking at the thing and he immediately proceeds to run over it crush it to pieces. Oh, that's so cruel. I was like, what? Thanks. <laughs> like, well, who sees a big object in the road and is like, I better run over that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this thing I just ran over. <laughs> well, Argy, so I'm going to call it for now, but I'll be in. You'll be sharing? I'll be sure and uh, pick up the live again once we hit something pretty interesting with good coverage. Pick up the live. <laughs> Bye, Rebecca. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for in. coming in and everybody else.